What's up? Iron deficiency anemia is caused by chronically low iron level. So, in order to understand the risk factors of iron deficiency anemia, we should know which conditions can cause chronically low iron level. Overall, the level of iron in our organism depends on iron income into the blood, iron organism demands, and loss of iron with bleeding. So, if iron income into the blood is equal or prevails over iron organism demands and loss of iron with bleeding, then the level of iron in our organism will be normal. So, which factors can decrease iron level in the blood, or we can say which factors can cause iron deficiency anemia? So, first of all, it's a group of factors that cause decrease in iron income into the organism. The first factor is decrease in iron consumption, which commonly occurs with vegan diet or vegetarian diets. Anyone can be vegan. Ovo lacto vegetarian, maybe. Ovo what? I partake not in the meat, nor the breast milk, nor the ovum of any creature with a face. Short answer being vegan just makes you better than most people. Bingo. The concept is that mostly we intake iron with meat, and only a small part of iron we consume in form of vegetables. So, with decrease in meat consumption, the amount of heme and iron that income to the duodenum decrease. As a result, less iron will be absorbed. In this case, organism iron demands remain the same, but the income of iron is decreased. As a result, the level of iron will progressively decrease, and as a result, iron deficiency will develop. The second reason is decrease in iron absorption. First of all, as we see, once iron income into the organism, stomach should convert iron from 3 plus charge into 2 plus charge, because we can absorb only 2 plus iron. And the most crucial substance that provides this conversion is gastric acid. As we know, parietal cells inside the stomach produce great amount of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid oxidizes iron and converts plus 3 charge iron into 2 plus iron. So, in conditions as atrophic gastritis, where parietal cells are destroyed, or in case of intake of proton pump inhibitors, there will be decrease in gastric acid secretion. Also, in case of gastrectomy, where the substantial part of the stomach is removed, without parietal cells, gastric acid secretion will also decrease. In all these conditions, we do not have enough gastric acid. Without gastric acid, we cannot convert plus 3 charge iron into 2 plus iron. And the capacity of cytochrome B is very limited. So, all these plus 3 charge iron molecules that income into the duodenum, we cannot absorb. So, practically, all iron molecules will be lost in the feces. This will cause decrease in iron income into the blood, and with decrease in iron income, with the same iron demands, Iron deficiency is just a matter of time. Also, we have disorders that affect exactly the process of iron absorption. The most common one is celiac disease. In celiac disease, duodenal mucosa becomes affected by inflammation. Damage to mucous membrane causes damage to the transporters on the mucous membrane. As a result, transporters become dysfunctional, and without them, we cannot absorb iron. This will cause decrease in iron income, and if iron demands remain the same, this will cause progressive decrease in iron level, and as a result, iron deficiency will develop. And also, in case of surgery, as duodenal bypass surgery, or in case of duodenal resection, patients will not have enough length of the duodenum, and thereby they won't be able to absorb all iron molecules that income into the duodenum. Decrease in iron income with the same iron demands will cause iron deficiency. Another group of factors that lead to iron deficiency are conditions that increase iron demands. First of all, it's pregnancy, because in pregnancy we need iron basically for two organisms. Also, children require a tremendous amount of iron for growth. So, in case of pregnancy or during the childhood, with increase in iron demands, in case if iron income will remain the same, iron deficiency can develop very easily. 
and the last group of factors are conditions that increase iron loss. First of all, it's chronic blood loss with menstruations. Basically, it's the reason why females have lower level of hemoglobin than males. And obviously, the more severe the menstruations, the greater is the loss of iron. Also, chronic blood loss can be caused by peptic ulcers, dodenal ulcers, hemorrhoids, and varicell bleeding. The concept here is that chronic blood loss increases the loss of iron. Increasing loss of iron with the same iron income will cause iron deficiency. So we have three large group of factors that cause iron deficiency. It's factors that decrease iron income, factors that increase iron organism demands, and factors that increase loss of iron with bleeding. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Ciao! What's that mean? Ciao. It's Italian. It means food. 